So imagine for a moment that it's uh, spring or fall, you're at your local tire shop, you're ready to swap out your summer tires for your winter tires or your winter tires for your summer tires. And then the guy behind the counter looks at you and says, would you like us to put your unused tires in storage for you for the season? What do you say? What are the pros and what are the cons of allowing the retailer to store your tires for you? And what should you know about where and how they will store your tires before you agree or disagree to the offer? Good questions? I thought so. So let's talk tires. Now, once upon a time, retailers would not store your tires for you. Once you swapped out your summers for your winters or vice versa, you took your tires home with you and you stored them yourself. Maybe in the garage, maybe in the basement, maybe you had a shed in the back wherever you had room for four tires. The whole tire storage solution idea is a byproduct of our modern lifestyles where we have lots of stuff, but very little room for it. So let's say for example, that you live in a condo in the downtown core of one of North America's bigger cities. I mean, you may not have that much room for stuff. Your condo might be small. The storage space you have in the building, well, that might be small too. And it might already be packed with boxes or gym equipment you don't use or, you know, bicycle or two, what have you. So where are you supposed to put four tires and the rims they're attached to? Are you going to stick them under your bed? Probably not. Then there's the size factor. If you haven't noticed, over the past few years, tire sizes have gotten a lot bigger. Now, I remember my first car about 34 years ago. It had tiny 13-inch rims on it. Today, my car has 17 inch rims, and that's kind of average. There are bigger tires out there, and the bigger they are, the heavier they are. So unless you really love your chiropractor, you're probably not gonna wanna hoist your tires from your basement to the main floor, then into your trunk or the cargo area of your SUV, then take them to the retailer and do that all over again in a couple of hours when you come back. It's just so much work and it's so much easier to have the retailer store the tires for you. There's no need for space at home and there's no need for season tickets with your chiropractor. So if you're keeping score at home, that's two points for the pro column. It'll save your back and it'll save you space. So what's the downside? What's on the con side of the column? Well, for starters, you're gonna have to pay to have those tires stored for you. Most, if not all, retailers will charge you a fee for storing your tires. Now, it's not going to break the bank, but still, it's an extra cost to factor in. The second con is this. You're going to have to come back to that same retailer in a few months to get your tires installed. Why? Because he has your tires. Now, that can be a con if they end up being really busy at the particular time of the year when you want to go in and get your tires done. Or maybe you end up finding a great deal on tires at another store. So what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to go to that first store, pick up your tires, haul them over to the second store. It just takes more time, more effort, more hauling, which is what you were trying to avoid in the first place. Now, arguably, these are not big cons, and, and most of us can live with the idea of committing to see the same tire retailer at least twice in a lifetime. So again, if you're keeping score at home, that's two for the con side, the cost and the commitment. So now it's kind of even 50 50, two cons, two pros. But the last point to consider, and perhaps the most important point is how and where are they going to store your tires? Now that may sound like an odd question, but it's key to making the right decision. The fact is that there are better ways to store tires and there are worse ways to store tires. So what does the facility that your tire retailer wants you to pay for, what does it look like? Are they gonna put your tires in a steel container behind their store? Or are they going to store your tires in a climate controlled indoor facility? Now there's a big difference between the two. And just in case you're wondering, the climate controlled option is better for your tires. Why? I've spoken to so many experts over the years and they all agree on this. And here's what Brad Fraser, customer engineering support for light truck tires at Michelin North America told me when I interviewed him for an article on tire storage and it agrees with what the experts say. Now he said, and I quote, we recommend tires be stored indoors in a cool, dry and clean environment. 
they can be stored either horizontally or vertically just as long as in there in the kind of environment mentioned above and don't store them near grease or gasoline or any other substance that could degrade the rubber and that last part is key because it's all about the conditions that are best for the rubber compound now he added this he said the worst place to store tires is outdoors which exposes the tire to the extremes of temperature and humidity as well as to the damaging UV rays from the Sun now to be perfectly honest and to be perfectly fair your retailer is not going to throw your tires in the yard and leave them exposed to the Sun but the temperature and the humidity those factors they're quite frankly better controlled indoors in a climate controlled facility now you may be okay paying for the retailer to store your tires in an empty metal container out behind the store and that's your choice and that's perfectly fine many people do it but I would argue that if you're gonna go that route you might just as well bring those tires home and store them in your own shed or your own garage or your own backyard or on your own balcony if you have a condo with a balcony the only benefit in this case would be the fact that you're not going to need to haul those tires back and forth between your home and the tire retailer twice a year so in this case you'll be paying for the convenience but not necessarily the conditions in which the tires are stored again that alone might be enough of a benefit for you to want to pay for the tire storage service and that's perfectly fine however if for the same price you can find a shop that has gone to the expense of setting up a, a dedicated tire storage facility of their own that's both temperature and humidity controlled in my opinion that's the better option now some stores simply don't have the square footage for a dedicated tire storage facility especially if they have hundreds of customers can you imagine how many tires they would have to store well in that case they might farm out the service to a third party a climate controlled warehouse that specializes in tire storage and that's perfectly fine it's so much better than leaving them outdoors where the both the extremes of the heat of the summer and the cold of the winter plus the fluctuations in humidity can age your tires more rapidly so you may be wondering what happens to my tires when they go into storage well that really depends on the retailer some will just leave your tires on the shelves until you come back and get them in a few months others and I would argue that these are the better shops the washer tire and wheel assemblies removing dirt and grease so everything is sparkling clean when you come back to have those tires reinstalled and the better shops will also take the time to inspect your tires to inspect your rims to check for for tread depth to look for cracks or any other kind of damage they'll also check the tires date of manufacture why because tires do have a best before date and I'll have a video on that very soon now these better retailers will also contact you well before you're due to come in for your next tire swap to let you know that you might need to invest in a new set of tires for whatever reason cracks uneven wear um, not enough tread depth etc they'll contact you to ask you to come in when it's convenient for you so that they can show you the issues the problems with your old tires and help you select new ones so to sum up what should you say when the guy behind the counter asks you would you like us to put your unused tires in storage for the season well weigh the pros and cons do you have the storage space at home can you store your tires in similar conditions just as easily at home but for free without having to pay for it is your back strong enough to haul a set of four tires around your home into your trunk and then back again in a couple of hours remember today's larger tires are really heavy especially when the rims are attached to them are you willing to pay for the storage service how much are they asking and what exactly are you paying for what type of facility are they storing your tires in and finally do you want to commit to coming back to see the same tire retailer in a few months or quite frankly do you want to kind of shop around and see what's out there now arguably this could all be a moot point if for example you don't believe in winter tires and you prefer to drive on all season tires year round or you've opted for all weather tires not all season but all weather tires instead of dedicated winter and summer rubber now I'll be posting videos on those two topics as well as about best before dates on tires so please consider subscribing if you'd like to know when those videos go live for now Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time we talk tires.